Are crazy VFX tricks and complex transitions always the right way to go? My name is Joshua Lufemi, and I hope in this tutorial, I'll be able to help you reconsider the way that you do post-production. So there's this guy, Meiji Alabi. He's a dope music video director, and he co-owns JM Films. I get money before property, He's worked with massive artists like Tiwa Savage, Swiss Beats, DeVito, Nasty C, Malik Berry, and as a London-born, Texas-raised Nigerian filmmaker, I've seen him incorporate several different styles in a lot of his work. Okay, that was pretty dope, but first though, we're gonna check out the new video Pull Up performed by Burna Boy, directed by the legendary Meiji Alabi. But we can't cover this video quite yet. We gotta go back in time and go over transitions. So guys, back in the day, and I mean like four years ago, transitions were king. I'd go with my friends and shoot random footage for the sole purpose of testing out crazy new transition ideas that had just come to my head that day. And it's funny, I remember anytime I made a YouTube video about transitions, I knew that instantly it would always be like a viral hit. And then after that, you remember travel videos got really big, you know, Sam Colder, Matt Como and the like. And with that came a whole bunch of new um, transition techniques as well. And then we entered this new period, which we may still be in, when we welcomed the rise of these awesome new concert and festival edits. <laughs> Think about Gibson Hazard and all these cool people that are learning how to shoot concerts in more engaging and cool ways and creating new effects and of course new transitions that came in with that as well. And now it's 2019, almost 2020, and yes, transitions are still a thing. I mean, the music video world are full of crazy talented production teams that are always toying with the newest VFX ideas to create the newest viral high concept visual and get the next MTV Music Video Award. I feel like however, that there's a parallel running trend in short form video production to simplify things in the post-production arena. There's a lot more VFX being used, but it's definitely more covert rather than overt. It's been less about those popping graphics and distracting overlays, crazy glitches and light leak wipes, and more about beautiful cinematography, depth and lighting, and invisible transitions that unlike the past, are not the center of attention. I simply refer to this style as beautiful simplicity. So let's flip back for a sec. Not the center of attention. In my opinion, it's not that overt transitions are inherently bad. It's just that we've gotten to the point where a lot of people that are just starting out in video production are just using the same ones too much. And also transitions are frequently used as a crutch to distract from poor storytelling and poor cinematography. These are some people that I actually really look up to in regards to creating content that embodies beautiful simplicity. So you got the bro Daniel Schiffer. I just love his like controlled movement and just how creative he is, how original he is, and the invisible transitions that he uses. This guy's incredible, you gotta follow him on Instagram. And then you've got Orion York. I've been following him for a while too. I love his the way he uses a gimbal, his cool invisible transitions again, um, his sound effects that he uses. He just always puts out quality work. Check him out again on Instagram. And then of course you got Logan Armstrong. Elevation 10,000 feet. Uller Fest takes place. A celebration of the Nordic god of winter. Basically, everybody the travel video boss. He's incredible. I think he's still working for Beautiful Destinations. I've been following him for a while too. Um, his stuff is incredible and original and it's just beautiful. All right guys, so we're gonna switch it up and look at a slightly different take on the concept of beautiful simplicity. We're gonna look at the new video pull up directed by Meiji Alabi. This video can be thought of as relatively simple. It's shot mostly on one location with minimal camera movement and there's at least a shallow narrative being conveyed. And unlike the past videos that we've watched, Meiji actually relies on hard cuts to transition from shot to shot as opposed to overt transitions or even covert transitions. And yet the video is still incredibly engaging. 
Why? I'm gonna give you three reasons. Number one, it's consistent. Instead of the team choosing the myriad of post tricks that I know that they had the capability of doing, they only chose one and they used it consistently. They used the photo burst effect. This can be done by placing your camera on photo burst mode and just snapping a lot of pictures, or it can be done by just shooting footage and slapping that posterized time effect on that footage and it'll create that snappy stuttery look. It's all about this, the simplicity of consistency rather than the complexity of chaotic random post tricks is visually engaging because it shows order and discipline. I just think it results in a more professional looking final piece. Number two, there's intentional theming. What's cool about theming guys is, is it just gives a little bit of depth to what is otherwise a really shallow music video narrative. The video seems to be striving towards like a vintage dated vibe. I'm talking about the vibrant clothing, the old looking car, the old radio, and the vintage high fashion wardrobe. And also the exaggerated high angle and low angle wide shots seem to harken back to an older form of music video cinematography from maybe like the 90s. Number three guys, this music video is just beautiful. Think about it, literally every frame that you see in this video could be used as a thumbnail for this video. That's not normal. That's something where we need to give a lot of credit to the cinematographer and the GE team for really using a lot of beautiful soft lighting to pop all the performers out and all the talent out. Every shot just seems to be composed gorgeously as if it's a portrait that's being painted or photographed. And speaking of a photograph, I even think that this photo burst effect that we talked about before plays in to this feeling of beauty by conjuring that feeling of a high profile photo shoot, if that makes sense. I thought the wardrobe and the styling was beautiful. I thought it complemented the surrounding environment well. And I thought the low angles that were used had this really cool way of allowing the wardrobe to beautifully dominate every frame. So guys, maybe try out this concept of simplicity the next time you have a shoot. Tell me what you think, even if it's just for the sake of trying out something new. Guys, speaking of music videos, I've been in post for a lot of them in the last few months, and I've had an incredible need for tons of stuff like stock footage, you know, title packs, templates, VFX packs, transition packs, royalty-free music, which is why I love the Envato Elements is our channel sponsor. It's a subscription service that you can you can use for only $33 a month, and you can get the first month through the link below through Olufemi Tutorials for only $9. It's something that I fully endorse. I use it all the time daily. You can you have unlimited downloads. I have downloaded hundreds and hundreds of assets. Um, uh, every subscription helps the channel out, guys, so please give it a, give it a shot. Um, if you don't like it for whatever reason, you can cancel at any time. There's no stupid uh, uh, cancellation fees. Thank you so much guys for watching guys. Please make sure to like this video, click uh, the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you can be notified on future videos. And once again, thanks so much for watching. And as always, remember to keep it chill.